Hey, it's Joe Glines from Automator, and this script, it's a cool little script. Like, often I like to have a list of things to do to scratch off as I go. Um, however, sometimes sometimes you have a repeated list you want to do, like every time you go launch uh, a new tool, we have a checklist to work through. It's kind of like based off of like pilots in airplanes. They have a checklist they have to go through, right? So it helps you remember stuff. But sometimes also you have just things you want to get done really quickly. And there is a big psychological effect when you cross it off. And so I want to share this script here that we came up with. Um, it's very interesting because it allows you to literally cross things off your list and tells you when it was done, right? Now, that that's, doesn't keep a memory of it, so if you unselect it, it goes away. But um, it's pretty cool because you can come in here. So he, these are the videos, and actually this is the, the simple checklist video. So, hey, I've supposedly done this. If I wanted to add to this, I'd come in here to Preferences, and I can just say... Um, one more video, whatever that topic was, hit apply. Now it's in my list to do. I can also hit, if this is closed, now this will minimize it. It says closed, but it's gonna minimize it. And control T is my hotkey that brings it back up. And this is meant to exit, it'll actually exit out of the script. So you can also come in here, you probably saw you can assign the hotkey um, for it. You can also have it um, run on startup if you like. But uh, you can also come in here, and if I wanna add a new one, so I'd say, um, dinner. Now I'd start on my list, um, steak, salad, um, bread, and then I hit add, and that generates it. Now I'm going to hit apply, and now it's in my list, right? So I can cross them off as I go through and prepare them, whatever. All right, so you get the idea. It's a very cool, little, simple, basic script. Uh, one thing we thought of was maybe at some point we'll make one that allows you to import and export, but, but it's stored in the any file, which you could just have locally. But um, let's say we're working on things and Isaias is working on something and he wants to borrow my checklist. We could allow you to import export the current status. But again, those files are stored in the any file itself. So right now, um, this is kind of where it is. But yeah, if you uh, enjoy that, you can grab the script. I'll put the link up here. Um, it's always helpful if you donate. You're like We spent hours, we probably spent a week, and I know it doesn't seem like it, but at least a week on this script alone. That adds up, right? So if you donate when you make the, when you get the download, it'd really be helpful. If you want to learn how to do this, our Intro to GUIs course uh, is a great place to start because we work with list views and that a bit, and our courses come with a 200% money back guarantee. Of course, we're the only ones really actually creating, creating auto hockey courses, and we're the best. So hope you enjoyed that. Have a great day. Cheers.